Okay, this is Larry Fox. He's facing eviction today. How are you doing, Larry? Uh, kind of stressed. Um, yeah, just, just stressed. Uh, war is not over. Um, I'm going on a brief vacation. Mm -hmm. Will you be staying in your van? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, going camping. Uh, and I need to spend some time away from the house. Mm -hmm. um, it'll be good for me to do that. Uh, hopefully get some perspective and get ramped back up for to continue the fight. And so what will the fight be? Uh, to continue to go up against Wells Fargo. Um, what Wells Fargo did... They s skirted the letter of the law, um, and the law changes January 1st. Um, that doesn't mean that that they won't continue to claim they never got documents that you sent in. And they have found that, it's my hunch that they have found that um, you're not dual tracked if they claim you never got, they never got the documents. So as long as they keep saying they never got the documents, they never got the documents. Um, homeowners or people who are trying to get a modification don't have any power and, and there's no sort of <coughs> restrictive regulation um, on how they handle documents. Uh, if each piece of paper for mortgage modification had a value of one dollar, I'm sure, I'm damn sure they'd, be, they'd keep good track of it, but they just don't seem to care because from what I understand, they get paid for each application. So they have no incentive to approve you or deny you or move you through the application process. They just want you applying again and again and again. And the best way to do that is to, quote, not get documents. Mm -hmm. um, what would you like to see happen going forward from here? Um, I'd like to see Camilla Harris really ride the banks but because that's the only way they're going to behave. They are so used to never getting um, fined or you know, going to jail. Um, so they do all sorts of things to homeowners and there's no excuse for it. You know, it <clears throat> when I called the Department of Justice about what happened and I, as long as I said it was a company that I was in the middle of a negotiation with and they reneged on the negotiation and screwed me over. It was fine. The department just was really interested. And as soon as I said it was a bank, oh, well, uh, you have to call, uh, um, and then... You have to call them. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, take okay. care. I gotta go. Okay, thank you.